Microsoft Bookings is a scheduling tool that is part of the Microsoft 365 suite. Bookings can be used by individuals to create a personal booking page. You provide a link to your personal booking page. Someone visiting this page is able to pick available time slots to schedule a meeting with you. The scheduled meeting is added to your Outlook calendar and a confirmation email is sent out. This video is for individuals looking for scheduling management tool integrated with their Outlook calendar. To access Microsoft Bookings, click on the Microsoft Waffle from the upper left corner of the screen and then click on Bookings. Under your personal booking page, click the Go to My Booking Page button. Your booking page dashboard lets you manage how your personal booking page looks when others are booking a time on your calendar. The middle section of the dashboard shows available meeting types. Meeting types can be public, meaning they will appear on your booking page, or private, meaning these meetings would need to be manually scheduled. In our example, we are going to create two meeting types. The first will be for in-person meetings. The second will be for virtual meetings. Individuals booking time will be able to choose an in-person or virtual meeting. A public meeting type called office hours is created by default. We are going to edit this meeting type to be an in-person meeting type. Click the name to open the details for the meeting type. Change the name to in-person meeting and add a description. The name and description will be visible for those booking time with you. Type a location, like an office or conference room. Since this will be in person, slide the Teams meeting toggle to the left to turn this feature off. Select the amount of time that will be blocked off on your calendar when this meeting is booked. Since we want this meeting type to be selectable, leave it set to Public. Tick the overall schedule for this meeting type. It can be set to your regular meeting hours, which are defined in your Outlook calendar. To change the hours, click the link to see regular meeting hours. This will open your Outlook calendar on the web. Click the Work Hours and Location menu item. Any changes to this page will be reflected in Bookings and also your Outlook calendar. The other option is to use custom availability hours. The schedule will only apply to this meeting type. Set the start and end times for each day. Click the X to remove this day from the meeting type. Click the plus sign to add another time slot to that day. For example, this could be used to block off lunch each day, even if this event is not scheduled on your Outlook calendar. In this example, Tuesday and Thursday are not bookable for the in-person meeting type as these are work from home days. The Advanced Options button will let you set buffer time before and after the meeting. This amount of time will be added to the meeting on your calendar. The start time interval indicates the time in which meetings can start. For example, with 15 minute intervals, meetings could begin on the hour, quarter past, half past, and quarter to the hour. The minimum lead time limits the time that someone can schedule or edit before the appointment. The maximum lead time dictates how long into the future this meeting type can be scheduled. Click the Save button to save the changes and return to your personal bookings dashboard. Since we also want to have a virtual option, we will need to create a second meeting type. Click the plus sign to create a new meeting type. Enter the details for this meeting type. Since this is a virtual meeting, make sure the slider next to Teams meeting remains to the right. A new Teams meeting link will be generated when someone schedules a meeting with this option. The link will be available in the confirmation email as well as the Join button in the calendar. Be sure to click the Save button. Meeting types can be further managed by clicking the three-dot meatball menu. This allows the meeting type to be duplicated or deleted. You are also able to create a link to this meeting type by using the Copy link or the Share option. Individuals visiting this link will only be able to book available time slots for this particular meeting type. It is a good idea to see what the page looks like for others. Click the Share button and then Copy Link. Paste the link into a new browser window. This is how your bookings page will appear for others. Click each meeting type and make sure the available days are correct. The available times are synced with your Outlook calendar. If you have a meeting scheduled in Outlook, the time is not available in bookings. If you wanted to stop others from using your bookings page, click the three dot meatball menu and then select Turn off your bookings page. To re-enable the page, click the Publish button. In addition to copying the link, you can share the address for your booking page in an email message. Click the Share button and then share via email. Add at least one address, your message, and click Send. Finally, you are able to add a link to your booking page to your email signature. Click the Share button and then add email to signature. Your Outlook mail signature will open. Click the check mark before include a link to my bookings page in my signature. 
A link to your page will be added to the bottom of your signature. You are able to change the text or cut and paste to move the link to a different location in your signature. Repeat the process if you have multiple signatures. The link will not be added to your email signature on the mobile app, only the desktop and web version of Outlook. Click the Save button. When someone books a meeting, you will receive an email message, and the meeting will be added to your Outlook calendar. You can open your booking page directly from your Outlook calendar on the web. Click the Go to My Booking page to open your personal booking page dashboard. Let us know if you have any questions by sending an email to edtech at cvtc.edu.